What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to break down the latest Forsaken trailer showcasing the Dreaming City and so much more and people it looks absolutely epic but before we break it down guys every month I give away a fully customizable controller to be in with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on this video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel more details at the end of the video people okay so if you haven't seen the trailer check it out right here right now this is our most sacred place. Outsiders are forbidden. I want answers. No one was supposed to come back here until everything was safe. I want to kill whatever evil has crept into the Dreaming City. There is an immense creature at the heart of this place. The fate of the Dreaming City is at stake. Destiny 2 Forsaken, available September 4th. and get the Ace of Spades last hand ornament plus Cade's exotic stash. So how epic did that trailer look people? Yes it was amazing right you know that. So let's break it down as best we can. So it actually starts with us seeing Pet's Revenge. I actually wondered when she was going to show up. We then see it states Destiny's the largest end game experience ever. Let us folks be the judge of that bongo. We then hear Petra states this is their most sacred place outsiders are forbidden. I want answers, no one was supposed to come back here until everything was safe. In the trailer we then see the true beauty of this place and indeed it looks stunning for sure. We then see our guardians running across those plains exploring this great looking new place. What we then see is kind of weird. Now if you'd like to add to this as you know I ain't one for long. But we see the hive here in the form of I believe four taken knights. But weirdly, it doesn't seem like they are posing any threat to us or us to them. So what is all this about? Is there going to be some kind of new alliance here? Is this even the Dreaming City? Throughout the trailer we see the Taken Realm, as we know there are two sides to the Dreaming City. The beautiful side of it and that one ruled by the Taken. It's still not quite clear what they are doing here, but clues into that do come later on in the video which we'll get into in a second. So who are these Hive? What are they doing here? Super curious to find out about that. We then see it states this place is riddled with puzzles. Sounds good. Here's me hoping it isn't just some daft jumping puzzle which leads to a chest containing two tokens and a blue. We want more than that bongo, but I'm sure it won't be people. Bungie have learnt over the past few months they really have. We then hear Petra state she wants to kill whatever evil has crept into the Dreaming City and then we see this, some kind of taken being. Upon further inspection it looks to me like a Tekian. Now if you are unsure what these are, the Tekians, also known as Tech Witches, are employed by Queen Mara Soth as her personal advisors. A little more info on them, the Tekians possess strange powers of mysterious origins. It is known that they wear blue, jewel-like implants of some kind. Two of their known abilities are illusions, where they fooled the wolves besieging palace that the queen's harbingers were coming to destroy them, and telepathy, giving the queen the ability to hear the voices of her people. 
The Tech Kings act in synergy with their queen. As seen in the Battle over Saturn, the Techians have always served the queen in some capacity, but recently have replaced her fallen bodyguards after the Wolves' Rebellion. Varix is quite wary of the Techians' power, to the point that he'll dock his arms before going near them. Unlike the Guardian, their powers appear to be unconnected to the Traveller. The Techians made their first physical appearance in the Taken King when they followed their queen into battle against Oryx at the Battle of Saturn. Acting in concert with the queen, they conjured a collection of powerful projectiles, the Harbingers which tore apart any Hive cruiser in their way. However, the projectiles were unable to even scratch Oryx's dreadnought and were instead apparently absorbed by the hull. The three Techians who were present in the battle are presumed dead. The surviving Tekkens did not cooperate well with the Reef's interim region, Pet's Revenge. However, they acquiesced to partnership in Reef experiments to extract and control Tekken energies. Their participation in the transfer process increased success rates to 100%, with only one Tekken needed to be present at a time. It makes sense now people why the Tekken are here within the Dreaming City. Why these Tekken are here and their end goal? They have somehow possessed the power of the Tekken and I believe are using it against the Dreaming City. I would say themselves have been Tekken, the only one being I know still capable of doing such is Savathun. But they only look semi-Tekken to me, hence why I believe they have learned to harness it somehow. Now a few days ago I posted a video called Aldrin has been taken. I got a little stick for it as people thought I was out of my mind. But it's adding up now. If Aldrin is the real enemy behind his Forsaken DLC, who is to say he also hasn't harnessed the power and ability to control the Taken? It would also make sense as to why he himself looks taken to an extent in the recent trailer we saw, which I speculated over. So this latest trailer then goes on to mention we have to fight this ancient curse, showcasing battles with Barons, Taken and more. We also see a glimpse at the Blind Well, which I believe is this destination's kind of EP. And then where all the dreaming ends, we experience the nightmare, the taking side of the dreaming city full of darkness, evil. Sounds absolutely epic to me, I can't wait to dive deep into it. And for the fearless, a massive new raid which beholds an immense creature. The fate of the dreaming city is at stake, Marostov states. Unlock great and powerful new rewards, which this trailer is full of. Check some of these out on screen now. Check out that white arm with that epic looking gold shell. Amazing. The Dreaming City weapons also look incredible too. And there's much, much more people. And honestly guys, I cannot wait to get dug in. I really can't. Forsaken is not that far away. Less than 30 days. But yeah guys, we have come to the end of the video. Tell me your thoughts on this trailer, the Tekken, what they are doing here, why they're here. Could Marosoft be up to no good? That's something I actually didn't cover in the video. You just never know. Are these Tekken? against Mara and the Dream City using the Taken energy to corrupt this place is Savathun behind this somehow how does Aldrin fit in let me know what you know and what you think down below within that comment section but guys before we end the video every month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world to be in with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys and you've got nothing to lose but on that note I am out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one